What up, beautiful people? Welcome to the Shiny Light. It's your boy Mundus, and today we're gonna to be learning about joy from within, and we're gonna be reviewing one of the articles from Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris. And our theme scripture is gonna be taken from the book of Nehemiah, chapter eight, in verse ten. And like I said, today's title is about joy from within. So we're gonna read the scriptures. We're gonna read the Rhapsody article, and then discuss and dissect the scriptures together so i'm gonna read this on uh it says let's, let's let's read this then he said unto them go your way eat the fat and drink the sweet and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared for this day is holy unto the lord holy unto our lord neither be ye sorrow for the joy of the lord is your strength that's Nehemiah 8.10. Uh, let me read the first paragraph. He says, some people, the Rhapsody says, some people never laugh unless they're sing listening to some jokes by a comedian. A comedian may say or do some funny things to make you laugh, but all that, all that is transient. True joy is inside you. Having received the Holy Spirit, God expects you to generate joy and excitement from within. You know, it's amazing. Um, like I was studying this, um, I was doing my studies on rhapsody, and I found out joy is actually joy is actually a fruit of your spirit as a Christian. So it's not like something that comes from the outside. Like that's it says, joy is from within. Let me find that scripture actually. And it's important for us to realize it says the joy of the 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 theme scripture says the joy of the, of the Lord is your strength. So joy is powerful. Joy is where you get strength. So, like, the enemy will try to get you to take your joy. Because when you you don't have joy, you're, you're like, you feel like you're defenseless. You don't have strength. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Strength, energy, comes from, the, from joy. Joy is a strength. Joy is so powerful. Wow. So, that means you can't have your defenses down being sad. Or, you know what I mean? Weary. It's, 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 you know what I'm saying? You, you said you don't have to wait for a comedian or see something funny for you to laugh. No, that's coming from outside. That's like an outside force. That's like joy or... That's not even joy. That's like laughter and, and all this other happiness coming from the outside. And that's not even powerful. It says you have the real joy from inside you. That joy is within you. And that joy that's in you is a strength. It's a strength against the enemy. Is a strength against any powers or any adversities. Joy is powerful. This is a weapon. Let me show you this. Let me show you you got joy in you. First of all, let's establish you got joy within your spirit. Um, yeah, let me search for this. So I am reading from Galatians chapter 5 in verse 22. He says, But the fruit of the spirit, the fruit of your spirit, Christian spirit. The fruit of the spirit is love. Number one, you have love within you. Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, and against such there is no law. He says all these things are within our spirits. We got love within our spirits. The Bible says the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the spirit. So we got love within us. We got joy inside us. We got the peace of God in us. We are long suffering. We got gentleness. We got meekness. All these things are within us, but we got to bring them out. It's one thing for them being in, in you. But it's another thing when we express those things, those fruits of the spirit from the outside so that they can be visible so that we can benefit from them on the outside um so it's important joy is important um and it says having received the holy spirit god expects you to generate joy and excitement from within this is a key word right there i was studying the scriptures i want you to 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 note that sentence right there it says having received the rhapsody, the rhapsody says, having received the Holy Spirit, God expects you to generate joy and excitement from within. You're not waiting for someone to make you laugh. You're not waiting to hear a funny joke. No, it says by the Spirit, you can pull out that joy that's within you. By the Holy Ghost, that joy that's a fruit of your spirit can come from outside. Can come from inside, outside. 
So you live your life in out. You don't live your life from the outside inwards. Meaning you don't you you you're not waiting for someone else to make you happy. You're not waiting for things to, to turn right before you're happy. It's like, oh, I'm just waiting for my holiday. You know, it's just like some things that's just been so normal. Like you, you don't even think. It's like, oh, I can't wait until um, when you're working, maybe. I got only two weeks for my holiday. I'll be so happy when I'm, I got my holiday. I'll be fun. I'll have fun. Or I can't wait until I buy, you know, this house. I can't wait until I get kids. Or I can't wait until I get married. I'll be so happy. I'll be full of joy. I can't wait until I get these new clothes. I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? You can't postpone this. You ain't got to wait for all of that. Because joy is within your spirit. And you have you generated by the Holy Ghost and the Rhapsody is gonna show us how to do it. But that's a key word to remember. You got joy within you. You're not asking you're not praying God for it. You say, Oh God, if you only can make me happy, no. You can make yourself happy by the spirit, because you got joy in you. Anyway, let's read on. So the second paragraph says, Always learn to release joy from inside you. Never allow anything to take away your joy. Our opening verse says, The joy of the Lord is your strength. It is talking about the joy you get when you receive it is not talking about it is not talking about the joy you get when you receive some good news or when something you've been expecting pulls pulls through for you no it is the joy of the lord that joy comes from the holy ghost it comes from the word to keep things right there i want you to mark that this is important it says this joy that's from within you comes from the holy ghost it comes from the word and you got to express it because as you do the power is released and your challenges bow oh man this is powerful because joy is a strength when you release joy all those challenges cannot is powerful they just bow down to those challenges the joy just destroy any negativity you just get out of any situation because joy is powerful man who knew that this is a divine secret like can you imagine this is divine knowledge how would we know like being happy and excited in the lord can cause all the situations to just become the storms to become um whatever was troubling us to just cease or stop because we are happy because we are joyful who would have thought this? But the scripture is really revealing to us a secret. These are divine truths. These are divine secrets. The secret of joy being a power, a strength. And um, man, oh man. And number one, let's first note he, the, the rhapsody says, Pastor Christ the rhapsody says, the, number one, that joy comes from the Holy Ghost and it comes from the Word. I want us to look at how you get joy from the Word. I'm going to show you scriptures that show joy coming from the Word. It activates that joy that's within you. Number so it's not like you already got joy within you, but the word of God activates that joy, makes that joy complete, and it overflows. And it's important to see this. Let me show you this. Um, let us go to man. What scripture is there? Uh, John chapter fifteen. This is Jesus speaking. John chapter fifteen. Um, in verse 11 so jesus was making a prayer before this was his last days before he went to the cross and he was praying to god and then he was talking to his disciples too so from verse 11 he's talking to this to his disciples he says these things have i spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full interesting Jesus said, Jesus said I'm, I spoke these words so that you can have my joy. And your joy could be full. When it full is full, it overflows. And it just expresses itself on the outside. It's an overflowing joy. He says, the words I'm speaking to you, they will give you my joy. So number one, we can tell from the word of God, we get the joy of the Lord. And our joy becomes full. We get joy from the scriptures. Because Jesus said, these things have I spoken unto you that my joy, that, that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. Oh man, we get fullness of joy from the scriptures. If you want to be full of joy, listen to the scriptures, study the scriptures like you're doing right now. And you're listening, your joy is getting fuller and fuller. You're becoming more fuller, full of joy. You're not waiting for any comedian to make you happy. You can be happy now by yourself. Oh, I want to read you that scripture. Um, 
let's read another translation. It puts it so so awesome. Uh, uh, the C contemporary uh, common English version is it? Congo, yeah, let's try a different translation. C V version. Uh, J John fifteen eleven. He says, okay, Jesus says, I have told you this to make you as completely happy as I am. Oh my God, isn't that beautiful? He says, I've spoken these things. King James said, I've spoken these things so that you might have my joy and your joy may be full, complete, right? Full. And Jesus, this is the translation. He says, I've told you these things to make you as completely happy as I am. Jesus wants us to be happy and content as he is, full of his joy. This is not no comedian joy, no one, no funny dude. It's not wrong watching comedians, actually. That's fine. But I'm just telling you, this is real joy, authentic joy, the, the joy of the Lord from Jesus. He says, I've spoken these things that you might to make, to make you completely happy as I am. Jesus wants us to be happy as he is happy. He wants us to be full of joy as he is full of joy. And this comes from, from the scriptures. One more scripture, and then we can show you how you get joy. So we we, we, we just established joy comes from uh, the word of God. Jesus said, I've spoken these things so you can have joy, right? Uh, the next chapter, I wanna, uh, let's read another another reference. King James, 1 John, 1 John, chapter. First uh, John chapter one and verse four. This was John the apostle writing. He says, "And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full." Can Can you notice? There's like a part. There's a similar. The, the, the scriptures are too similar. What Jesus spoke about. He says. He said, I spoke to you these things that you might have my joy and you might have my, your joy may be full, may be complete. And Jesus said, I've spoken these things so that you can be happy, completely happy as I am. The scriptures, the word of God makes your joy full. It causes your joy to be overflowing. When you, when you listen to the word or you study the scripture, your joy becomes full. You got to be conscious of that. Because this was John talking to them. He, he wrote this letter and he was telling them all these beautiful things. Uh, like, let's read from verse 3 actually. He said, That which we have seen and have heard, declare we unto you, that ye may also have fellowship with us. Truly our fellowship is the Father and with the Son, Jesus. He said, I'm just writing all these things to let you know what we have seen. And these things we write we unto you, that your joy may be full. When you study the word, your joy becomes full. Ah, let's go back and we're looking uh the sec the second way um how we bring the joy from within. So we have established through the word of God and next is through the Holy Spirit. But we'll look into that in a bit. Um so let's keep on reading. It says every time and in every and in every place where the Holy Spirit manifests himself, there is always great joy. So that's a key thing. It says every time and in every place where the Holy Spirit manifests himself, there is a great joy. And where there is joy, it is difficult for Satan to penetrate. This is why Satan wants to destroy a family. When Satan wants to destroy a family, one of the things he does first is to destroy their joy. Everybody becomes sad, angry, long-faced, frustrated. Even the children return from school looking sad and gloomy. Therefore, because there is no joy in a home, the devil can take over. So never give him a place in your home for whatever reason. The joy of the Lord is your defense and your strength. And he says, whenever the Holy Ghost is manifested, there is great joy. So let's look at the second way we generate joy from within. We already established this through the, the word, through the scriptures. The second way is through the spirit. The Holy Ghost helps us bring that joy that's from within us and we need to look at scriptures on this let's look at our scripture on this we go to the book of acts chapter 13 um yeah is it 13 13 and verse 52 Michelle, and he says this is a small it's a, like a this is just like a short scripture where he says, And the disciples were filled with joy 
and with the Holy Ghost. Can you see how those two things go? Because this number one, let's go back here, wrap today real quick. Rhapsody says, every time and in every place where the Holy Ghost manifests himself, there's always great joy. Whenever the Spirit is, there's great joy. So these disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. The reason why they were filled with joy, because they were filled with the Holy Spirit. So that's the key. To be full of joy, you need to be filled with the Spirit. Because the Scripture says, and the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. And wherever the Holy Spirit is, there's great joy. For you to have joy, be filled with the Holy Spirit. When you feel the Holy Spirit, you become full, full of joy. And I want to show you that. So we have established that. Let's go to the uh, Ephesians. How do, we become, how do we become filled with the Spirit? Ephesians chapter 5. In verse 18 says, And be not drunk with wine, when is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, how? Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God. This is how you become full of joy. You're singing you're speaking to yourselves in psalms. You're singing. You're making spiritual songs. You're making melody. You're just melody to the Lord. You're giving thanks to the, to the, for all things unto the Father. And you're submitting to one another. And then you become full of the Spirit. And when you're full of the Spirit, you're full of joy. Because where the Spirit is, there's joy. This is how these disciples were filled with joy. Because they were filled with the Spirit. And this is an expression of joy. Singing is an expression of joy. You know, giving thanks, melodies. These are all expressions of joy. One more. Let me. Let's look at another scripture. Nehemiah chapter. Zeph, is this a Zephaniah? Oh wow! This is one of the scripture uh, books you really, really. I've. It's been rare for me to open this book. Zephaniah chapter three. I might need to read that book. Chapter seven, verse seventeen says, "The Lord thy God." In the midst of thee is mighty. This is a song actually. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. How does God manifest joy? He does it through singing. He says he will joy over thee with singing. This is how he manifests his joy. Through singing. In Ephesians 5 eight, we just read. He says we are singing. We are making melody to the Lord. Singing in psalms and in hymns, making melody to the Lord. This is how you're generating joy for dinner. You're not waiting for someone to be funny. You're not waiting to listen to Chris Rock to be funny. No, you're just singing to the Lord. Despite of what it looks like, despite of how you feel, you're singing, making melody to the Lord, and then you're generating joy. And when the joy, the joy of the Lord is your strength. All right. Oh, I'm running a little bit late. Let me just finish this real quick. Uh, okay. It says, In the midst of trouble, in the midst of dire challenges, release joy from within as you do. The challenges will crumble before you. The tumor will pass out of your body. The deaths will be settled supernaturally. This is the reason the Bible says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. That's James chapter 1 and verse 2. If you have lost your joy to circumstances of life, it is time to take it back. Stay it up from within. Glory to God. And we have shown you how through the word and through being filled with the spirit. Uh, let's take this confession together. Say it out loud and mean it, mean it with all your heart. I go out with joy and I'm led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills break forth before me in singing. And all the trees of the field clap their hands. I rejoice exceedingly in the, in the God of my salvation, irrespective of what comes my way, for his mercies endures forever. Hallelujah, forevermore. You can read further studies in Romans chapter 14, verse 7, James chapter 1, verse 2 to 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 to 18. And if you're following a Bible plan, a one year plan, the scripture is right there. Pick, pick, pick whichever suits you or your time schedule. I hope you've been blessed by today's devotion. Leave me comments, questions you have below. I and mean, make sure you share this video. It's important. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. You know, share it across your social networks. 
so we can spread God's word as far as we can. And I want to give a chance to someone that's not born again. If you don't know Jesus is the Lord and Savior, you can have true joy. True joy comes from knowing the Master and receiving salvation from your soul. So I want you to lead it to, through this prayer. Say, say this after me. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. If you said that prayer, congratulations. You're born again. Leave me a comment so I can respond to you as soon as I can. Subscribe to this channel. And until tomorrow, it's been your boy Mundus. Be victorious and prosperous in all you do. God bless you.